Today I'm going to show you how to install a Mad Jax Genesis 250 and 300 Deluxe Rear Seat Kit designed for the EasyGo RXV. The difference between the 250 and the 300 is that the G250 is made of steel and the G300 is made of aluminum. Included in the kits is the footrest, the main bracket support bar, the bagwell support bar, the main brackets, the lean back brackets, and the hardware pack. Also, the cushions you selected, the grab bar, the bagwell bracket, and the main frame. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, a 17 millimeter socket, a 17 millimeter wrench, a number three Phillips tip, and a cordless drill. Now let's get started. You'll notice in your hardware packs, we've included rubber washers. These washers are designed to go anywhere that you contact metal with the flat washers to help avoid powder coat chipping. Before we begin installing our rear seat kit, we're gonna remove our factory top. We're gonna to take a 15 millimeter socket and wrench and remove all six bolts and retain. Now that we have our canopy removed, we're going to remove our front seat lean back. We're going to remove and retain the four bolts that go into the back of the seat kit on each side of the sweater box with a T45 bit. Next we're going to remove the rear struts from the factory sweater basket by removing the two bolts here and here on each side and retain. We're going to use a 15 millimeter socket and wrench. Now we're going to remove our sweater basket. You also notice that we have taken off our motor cover temporarily and we've also removed our tire well for video purposes only. We're going to remove and retain the two factory bolts that hold the sweater basket to the frame using a 15 millimeter socket. Now we're going to repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our sweater box removed, we can now install our main brackets. This is the driver's side main bracket. The short end goes towards the back of the cart. The plate goes towards the outside of the cart. We're going to slide this back in the same spot that we removed our sweater basket from and attach it using the retained hardware. Now we're going to attach our factory struts to our new main bracket. You'll also notice that we've reinstalled our motor cover. We're going to use the same hardware from earlier and reattach it through the main bracket into the strut. Once both bolts are in place, then you can tighten. You'll notice that the driver's side strut points towards the outside of the cart and then comes back up. Now we're going to reattach our factory front seat lean back to our new main brackets using retained hardware. Once this is done, you can also reattach your canopy. You'll notice that we reattached our factory canopy. Now we're going to attach our main bracket support bar using the 10 by 50 millimeter hardware. The main bracket support bar is L-shaped with two tabs. These two tabs point towards the rear of the cart. The bracket mounts to the main bracket at the bottom using the 10 by 50 millimeter hardware.
Before we install the main frame, there's two steps we're going to go through first to make life a little easier. The first is attaching the armrest. We're going to use the hardware from Pack 6 and attach the armrest to the main frame before we install on the cart. You'll notice on the armrest that there's a curve on one side. The curve goes towards the seat, the cup holder goes towards the rear of the cart. The next thing we're going to do before we install our mainframe is attach the bagwell brackets to the bagwell bracket support bar using the hardware from Pack 5 countersunk number 3 Phillips bolts and tighten. The countersunk bolt needs to feed through the bagwell bracket like this, that way the bumper will slide in between the bagwell bracket and the support bar. You'll notice that the bagwell bracket and the bagwell support bar has the same angle on the outside corner. Now ready to attach our bagwell bracket to our golf cart, but first we're going to remove the two factory bolts here and here, but do not retain. Now we're going to take the 6mm hardware and attach the bag wheel on the outsides first. Now we're going to use our 10mm hardware and our 2x2 square washer and secure the center of the bag wheel bracket to the cart. Now we're ready to install our mainframe. We're going to use the hardware from pack number two, the 8mm bolts, and go through the top of the mainframe into the tabs on the back of our L-shaped main bracket support bar. Now we're going to attach our footrest to our bagwell brackets using the hardware from Pack 7. We're going to attach the footrest to the top hole with the 10mm bolts and the lower hole with the quick release pins. Now we're going to attach the grab bar to the footrest, but this time we're going to use the quick release pin at the top and the 10mm hardware at the bottom. The four quick release pins can be removed from the grab bar and the back of the footrest to engage the tow mode position. Now we're going to attach the lean back brackets to the main bracket. You'll see two holes marked RXV. These are attached to the main bracket using the hardware from Pack 3. You'll notice the slotted holes that go up one side. This is for your lean back bracket and these go towards the inside of your seat kit. Now we're going to attach our lean back cushion to our lean back brackets using the hardware from pack number four. 
You'll notice the slotted holes. These are so you can set your cushion at your desired height. Now we're ready to attach our seat bottom to our seat frame using the hardware from pack number eight. Once all bolts are in place, then you can tighten. You'll also notice a dip in the seat. This dip will go towards the front of the cart. This is the back side of your seat. Now that we have our seat cushion attached, you're now finished installing your Mad Jacks Genesis 250 and 300 Deluxe Rear Seat Kit designed for the EasyGo RXV.